Are you ready to get Yo, what up? Done? I thought I'd have enough energy to, you know, get all excited and get nice and fake mad on roasting this hog's cat, but the dude is too insignificant to put that much effort in. I'm tired, so I'll just go off the cuff and talk about this little little fucking twerk, this little dweeb. Look at his mush face shit, chin touching his he just got one of them just weird mush faces, man. Like like five minutes in that nigga presence, I'd guaranteed I'd just snuff him just on the strength of how his grill piece looked. You know what I'm saying? His grill literally looked like it's been grilled. You know what I'm saying? Like he put some bacon, turkey bacon of course, on the thing and it gets all them ripples. He got like a ripply fat mushed in face looking like um one of them bad guys in the in the spawn series if you ever saw the cartoon when it was on hbo he looked like that fat little nigga you know what i mean <clears throat> like if we were in the movie twins you know i'd be on those sorts and they could he'd be the leftover piece of crap and when it all comes down to it that's pretty much why he has a problem with me or claims he has a problem with me it all dates back to well, however long it, ago it was i was on la's panel he was having his issue with hogs about his whack ass music I heard some of Hogg's whack-ass music on the panel where L.A. asked me my opinion on his whack-ass music. Notice I said his whack-ass music two or three times already. But at that time, I ain't never had any interaction with, with the with the uh, dwerve. I was about to say dwerve. Yeah, Herb and the dweeb. I ain't had any even interactions with the dude or whatever. So I said, look, <clears throat> he should keep doing what he's doing, but he definitely needs improvement. That's all I said. And then from there, dude's been hurt and sensitive and trying to come at me ever since that and that's when i did a couple songs to him and everything you know the weird i, I would have introduced you to people in new york and you picked the wrong guy why are you even looking at any association i have with anyone as you know from the the lens of me picking guys you know what i'm saying i'm not i'm not a homo you're a homo hogs is the homo that on his own show He's done got drunk. You know, when he gets drunk, the truth comes out. He'll say, I could fuck your mother. I could fuck your sister. I could fuck you. And he was talking to another man when he said this. This happened. I won't say who the dude it is because, you know, the dude that it was was so creeped out. You know what I'm saying? He didn't want me mentioning that. So I won't say that. I'll just say it was another male in his bullshit ass <clears throat> excuse of a chat room. I'll just say it's chat because there ain't much room in there. It'll only be like four people max, you know what I'm saying? Not to say that my shit be popping necessarily like that at this stage, but I don't do this shit often. If I did this shit halfway as consistent as him, yeah, forget about it. So, Mr. Consistent with um two fans and four people tops on, or on average in his chat room, one of them was a man that drunk ass hogs got on. I'll fuck your mother, I'll fuck your sister. Oh fuck you! I mean, he's looking in the camera all spooky. He's a weirdo, man. I'm telling you. So, I ain't really much to say. If I was on, had my coffee and I was on my fake, fake mad grind, you know, fake mad grind and more energetic, I'd probably be a bit more snappy with the shit. But I mean, what could you say about that dude? Dude's a burger. And here's the thing. Some other shit. It'd be these little details, little stupid, sh annoying shit that he says. Because you know he, you know he has no sense. So he just, what whatever goes through his simple mind, it comes out just as simple as he was able to process it, which is little to not at all. This nigga said something about me that <clears throat> I've been looking for YouTube fame for a while now. I don't know where he got that from. I mean, I ain't gonna talk no gay shit about a nigga attracted to me and all that, but he definitely sees me as something. Hence his. You know what I'm saying? Being on my dick, following my vein pattern, trying to get to the head to a pot of gold, talking about I picked the wrong guy and all that. So I already know that he does see me as something enigmatic. And that goes without saying. It shows in, in the bullshit he does. But, <clears throat> so maybe just on the sheer fact, you know what I'm saying, that he's starstruck. I'm not saying I'm a star, but, you know, we're talking about a, a stupid motherfucker here, right? So being that he's starstruck, any presence that I have online, he's going to see it as me looking for fame. You know what I'm saying? But long story, the reason I bring that up is because I hardly even do the YouTube and shit. Little live streams, I don't even do that like that. I might try to do it more. 
if I could find topics and shit. I ain't gonna talk about these bum ass niggas like that too much though. But the point I'm making is he does a lot of projection. He'll always, if you wanna know anything about him, all his flaws, which there are, are many, he's gonna uh, put those flaws on other people and that's a reflection of him. So I'm rambling. So yeah, I'm looking at you for YouTube fame. My online presence says otherwise that I'm not. His online presence, on the other hand, he does streams about every day. As far as people that's on YouTube that want to be what's called a YouTuber, which to me is a corny name. We need a better uh, name, a channel or something. I don't know. YouTuber, that shit just sound corny. And what's with everyone saying content, content, content? Maybe it's just me, but that term irks me. I like your content. I like your content. Like, it's just formal and corny. I don't even like using the term content. You have no content. I don't listen to your content. I love your content. You know, because that's the official shit that YouTube calls, you know, for people shit that they put online for people to, uh, you know what I'm saying, indulge in. Maybe that's just my pet peeve. You know, y'all can leave a comment or, or, or something if you could relate to that. Maybe I'm just weird on that. But speaking of content, this motherfucker does everything right that it takes to be successful doing this YouTube shit. That may sound like an ox, you know, that may sound kind of weird. Because, no, he doesn't succeed at it, but he does take all the right steps. You can tell this nigga looks up different YouTubers um, that have videos and shit about how to be successful on YouTube. What to do to get noticed, to get this, to get that. How to build your subscribers. How to blah, blah, blah. The best way to monetize and all that. He does everything right. He'll do videos on the latest trending shit that I would never even want to even look at. Because most of it is just a bunch of dumb, stupid shit. But this nigga with his look at them now videos. Somewhere he found that, yeah, if you do look at them now videos, it's going to bring you, you know, to some monicum of, of success. However, for him, it doesn't because he sucks, because he's an idiot. As soon as you click on his video and you hear his mouth move with uh, words coming out, you know that this guy is an idiot. What would I do when I would see, you know, if there's anything that I am interested in, even remotely, Definitely gonna see on the timeline. I'm definitely gonna see a hogs video on it. So what do I do? Oh, this happened. There's a hogs video for it. Cool. Hit the keywords. Type in the keywords about you know that shit that he's talking about, and then I watch a video from somebody even remotely reputable, and then see their opinions or their recap of whatever it is. Cause ain't no way I'm gonna indulge in this dunderhead, dumbass, dimwitted idiots. Uh, take on anything I wouldn't trust him to even break down the facts of a story and I absolutely have no interest in hearing what his opinion is about anything this motherfucker gets on his thing saying the dumbest shit he's on there now talking to somebody on the phone talking about oh it's all about radio play you gotta get your radio play man you don't see LA and LA and Styles you know they talk about each other you can't get radio play you know what the radio stations, you know what they do? They run a playlist. You think of the at the station, at the playlist. But no, you got to get on radio. Right, bitch, it's 2018. This could be 2015 and I could still have this same conversation. Fuck the radio. Who listens to the radio? If y'all listen to the radio, sound off. Or leave a comment after this video. But for the most part, motherfuckers don't fuck with the radio. Motherfuckers don't fuck with the television anymore. It's all about streams. Even, and it's, it's even getting that way to television. That's what you got Netflix for, to stream. That's what you have YouTube for, to stream. Hulu, Spotify, music, to stream. YouTube, music, to stream. iTunes, streaming. Title, streaming. Boom, bat, bit. The radio is a rap. Why do you think that they converted YouTube views um, to be equivalent to selling units? People are going platinum off of their YouTube views. And they're getting paid. They're translating the money they would make from pushing actual physical units, and now it's translating into streams. If you get those in streams, you're gonna, you know, it's gonna count as points, it's gonna count as, as sales. You know what I'm saying? And speaking of sales, how come Hogs has no music that anyone could buy? I'll go deeper than that. If you want to look for a be ready song right now, any song. You know, because he's somebody in the little sector of YouTube that raps and he's proud of his beats and he thinks he's the shit. Take the challenge. Hit the hit the YouTube search or you could just go to Google 
and just search his name, look for songs. I know, I know, you probably don't want to hear that bullshit, but just take the challenge just for the sake of seeing if it's possible. And my point is, it's not possible. If you're not one of the four to, and you might max out at 16, not for like a 10 minute or better stretch, because, you know, like I said, he does this thing called opening mouth and letting tones come out that is very annoying, so people leave. But the average of four people in the audience, if you're not a, if you're not around to witness that show, you're not going to hear a bullshit hog song, which is a good thing, of course. But you would think from this slow ass nigga's perspective, he'd want, you know, a lot more than that. He'd want to have his music for other people to hear if he thinks he's really the shit. But let's take it even a step further. You're not even going to hear his music at any decent type of fidelity or definition. How come? Because see how I have this thing set up? I know my green screen, you know, I got the bullshit kind when i get back home i get to my normal setup i've been on some old other shit yet at the same time if i want to play a song right now you'll be able to hear it in great fidelity because i have equipment and i know how to use the equipment i think this dumbass nigga has a laptop he wouldn't know how to use an obs he didn't even know how to do a hangout panel he's a fucking idiot you know what i mean but to the point even when he does play his songs it's from a, a, a third party speaker. So the sound is being recorded, I believe, by his phone that he's streaming his show with. So it's not channeled the correct way where you could even hear the nuances and the beat. This dude literally lives in his own world. And he don't even really care if anyone's really there to experience that world. He just wants validation. He wants you to say, good job. Or, Ain't that doing a good job? Ain't that doing a good job? He's always reaching for props and props from this and that. So he don't give a, he don't really give a fuck about y'all hearing his music, like really hearing his music. He don't really care if you if it's available for you to uh, listen to after or to sell it. I don't even think he believes in that bullshit that he's trying to sell. But yeah, so he has no music that you can find on your own, and you know if you have the unfortunate coincidence of happening upon his room when he's doing his live show you're still not going to be able to hear a decent sound quality it's probably a better thing because if you did hear it in the high fidelity it's usually not a decent sound his beats are ass and his raps are even worse i told the motherfucker to shut your mouth stick to the beat you know what i'm saying just bump out beats try to sell them you know improve get your shit better but aside from just rapping just don't talk dude Cause you're annoying, you're fucking slow, and you just have a fucked up, horrible personality. One of the worst things I like in a person is when is this combination, the combination of pompous and slow. You could have a pompous and crafty person. That kind of goes together. A pompous and wise person, a pompous and slick person, a pompous and savvy person. You know what I'm saying? Those two kind of flow together. You know what I'm saying? That's your gin and juice. That's your orange and vodka or whatever. But pompous and slow. That's um vodka and milk. You know what I'm saying? Pompous and and motherfucking uh what else? Let's see if it, I think his slowness is uh, uh uh working on me or whatever. But yeah, he's just a fucked up ass nigga. It just he doesn't belong anywhere near trying to pull off that personality that he has to push or that he tries to push the motherfucker's slow he's insecure so he tries to parry that off of himself and try to act like he's a big shit talking about he's been in some gangs bitch ass nigga ain't never been in a gang or if you were you were just one of them like little lowly people that they probably tried to have do shit you know little stupid shit stick crack up your ass or something so i i, I just know if you were involved in that they had you doing some weird uh bum nigga shit you know what i'm saying so yeah, I mean that's it in a nutshell, man. I mean Hogs is a fucking idiot. Um, yeah, yeah, and and, and just to show you how much an idiot is, he'll have the nerve. Last time he had the nerve to say something about it. Hey, Bones, if I ever saw you, I'd never think you make beats. Yeah, you'd be on my dick and you'd be wanting to chill with me and all this, and I'd just be pushing you away with your big shoes and a bunch of stupid shit. <sighs> Saying that, you know, like, it's just what I'm talking about, about how the motherfuckers in his own world. Just not living in, in base reality or even in any simulated reality. He and some old other shit. Talking about that I'd be sweating him. 
when this month or year or however long ago it was, this nigga couldn't keep me out of his mouth. And he's talking a bunch of stupid shit. Oh, you picked the wrong guy. You picked the wrong guy. We could have did this. We could have did that. Bitch, stop flirting with me, you punk motherfucker. What he said in another show, I think it was just yesterday too, I typed something in his room, or in his chat rather, you know, his no room for anything but the bullshit that he's saying to like two or three people. I typed something in there about something else or whatever. And this motherfucker just was like, no, I'm on your dick and I want to stay on your dick. He's like, no, fuck that. We're not talking about that. We're talking about me and you. I'm like, bitch, stop flirting with me, you weirdo ass, dumb motherfucker, fat, shaped like a doodle emoji ass bitch. You know what I'm saying? Just a stupid motherfucker. And yeah, I already know what it is. I mean, huh, I could go on and on. Cause whatever dumb shit this nigga talking about about, oh, when I get women and women and women and women and women and women, bitch, we never seen the face of any of them wildebeest that you fucking with. Most we seen the closest to a woman we seen was some weird ass video where oil was being rubbed on someone. You saw some pasty. I'm assuming it was a chick. Her two hands. And they were like rubbing on the oil on your back. And then out of somewhere, like a masculine third hand came came out like the, the, the claw on um Inspector Gadget. You know what I'm saying? Like the villain or like the Adams family hand just came out and started rubbing this nigga down. A third hand. Fucks up with that third hand. Stupid motherfucker. <laughs>